What's going on guys? Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Let's continue. Wait, what's this? I found Amanda, let's go get her. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Oh, let's be sincere. I thought I knew what I had to do. Now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Too far, truth, no use. Too far? They were out of range. If I had the opportunity to stop them, why wouldn't I? You tell me. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Indifferent, conflicted. I understand. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. 
They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You should be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. All right, time to scan. Over reflection, accomplices. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. All right, so let's investigate the room here. We'll check the rooftop in a quick sec here. It's gonna look around a little bit more. Connor? Remember me? 
was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? You saved me. Sorry. You must be mistaken. Of course. I couldn't be you. That kind of was destroyed. I would have died on that terrace. Connor saved my life. Even if it wasn't you. I just wanted to say... Thank you. Alright, that's pretty cool. In case you're wondering what that meant, uh, as you remember, we did the demo a couple weeks back, a couple months back before this game released, and uh, you had the option to save an officer while uh, negotiating with Daniel. And it turns out that, as you know, we didn't do the demo portion because we had done it a couple months back. I wasn't sure if I was gonna, if you guys were gonna be interested in actually watching me redo the demo, but. It played a little bit into the story because uh, he survived. However, when I did the demo again, where it you know, gives you the logistics on how to play the game and all that other stuff, the other version had died. So obviously he wouldn't uh, have any memory of what uh, the last Connor had. Oh, quick little uh, thing here. This guy, Lieutenant Perkins or whatever the heck his name is. Hey, Agent Perkins. One thing I thought is, I, I, I've seen that face before. I think I know his voice. And I thought they, I think, I'm pretty sure I've got this correct. That's the same guy who played as, um, uh, who's the homeless guy from, uh, uh, Beyond Two Souls, uh, with Jody. Um, there's Jody, there's, oh, I can't, I can't grasp her na their names right now. But pretty sure that's the same guy who played as um, the one of the homeless guys. That's a pretty fun little thing they added in. I like it. They didn't break in. No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. All right, so we're gonna do that after we go upstairs. Let's check the roof here quickly. See what we got going on over here. all the guards and jumped off the roof with parachutes pretty fucking impressive I'd say okay it's Simon eh to smuggle in a big bag like that they didn't someone brought it in for them oh that's strange they planned a perfect operation but got the number of parachutes wrong unless one of the deviants was left behind wow.
Oh, your weapons? Security. Uh, ah! Stop with the camera. Okay. Okay. I wonder if we should uh, follow the uh, trail here. I don't know. I just don't want it to, you know, affect especially Marcus's story because we had, uh, yeah, obviously it looks like Simon might have survived, but I don't know. do that. Ah, there he is. Should we open it? Hmm. Ah. Uh. Want to do it? Uh, no, let's leave it. Let's just leave it. <laughs> it might have a pretty dramatic, you know, turn to the story. Who knows? All right, let's go back downstairs. question these men. Hold on. Anything around here at all? Hold on. What the? Interrogate Andrews in the kitchen. Inspect the broadcast room. There's a broadcast room? Where's the broadcast area? Oh, okay. We can keep looking in here, I guess. Let's do that. Let's quickly take another look over here. Uh... Look down the hall. Over here. Um, over here. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I want to try to complete this broadcast room part, but... Ah, here we go. Found it. There we go. Now we can go interrogate those other androids.
State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Uh, diagnostic? Contact? Witness? Uh, hmm. Witness, contact? Uh, contact. Were you Witness. present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Alright. Memory? Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Contact. Uh, diagnostic. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Contact. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Threaten, deal, guilt, threaten, uh, guilt, no, guilt, threat, good, guilt. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Deal. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. Ooh. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! I think I know which one it is. I saw him kind of tilt his head there for a sec. You guys see that? Uh, let's go. To, uh, violence, bluff, torture, pro memory. You know, you realize that when I was talking to him, I, I think that guy kind of he turned a little bit there. I don't know. Uh, violence. You scumbag! I know it's you. You're just a fucking deviant. Go on, admit it. I don't know, it said to look for little, uh, you know, differences in all the different, uh, you know, androids. The have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. You know everything. You know what? I'm gonna try this guy out. Let's try, uh. Torture? Let's, let's try it. No. Torture pro memory? Torture pro memory. Let's try it. Bio component 8451. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back, but you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? Ooh, nice. Ah! Found him. I had a feeling. Nothing up one little. It was blurred. But I was very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Vigilant. And I saw him kind of turn his head. I'm like, hey. Hank! Hank! I need help. Okay, now we need to find a way out of here. Right?
All right, let's get him. It's a deviant. Stop it. Ah, okay. Uh, save Hank. Attack. Grab gun. Simon survived. Awesome. So I knew that there would have been a possibility if I would have opened that up that maybe things would have gone a little bit differently. Who knows? And let's get the broadcast room. What did I miss? What did I miss? Did I miss something? Two things are locked here. I guess I uh, missed some stuff. Or I didn't unlock it. I don't know. <laughs> Rooftop. Wounded during Stratford Tower. Okay. Okay. Wow, so there's a whole bunch of outcomes. Connor was traumatized. Yeah, that basically would have... Yeah. Simon self-destructs. Flash from Simon's memory. Okay, yeah. Alright. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.